Hello all, welcome to my channel. This is Sumanth and in this video, I will explain how to run a Selenium WebDriver.js script in browser stack. For this, we will follow all these six steps. Now in step number one, we will get username and access key from browser stack. And then we will get browser stack URL from browser stack documentation. Once we get these two things, we will create a Selenium script uh, in our Visual Studio code and we will go back to browser stack documentation and get the browser capabilities from there. Once we do all these four steps, we will then execute our script and once the execution is done, we will verify the execution report in browser stack. Now let's get started. We'll uh, first get the username and access key from browser stack. Go to your browser, open browserstack.com mouse over on product. Now click on automate. You will land on this page. After that, click on sign in. Once you sign in, you will by default uh, land on this page. If you have already selected an uh, automation library that you are currently working on. If you didn't select it, you will land on this page. Now from here, click on this icon and go to summary. In summary, you can get this username and access key. So copy both these things. We'll copy the username and we'll copy the access key as well. So once you get the username, and access key. Now go back to browser stack documentation and get the server URL. Let's go back to browser stack. Now go to automate again. Now you'll land on your dashboard. Now scroll down a little. Here you will see first sample build.js. Scroll to the top and in the fourth line, you'll see an URL. So it, it is under uh, using server method. So copy that URL. Let's paste the link here. And now verify that the username that is there in the summary page and the access key that is there in the summary page are present in the URL that you got from the documentation. Now, if they are different in this URL, update the username and access key that you have in the summary page. So this will be your username, colon. This will be your access key. You need to update the username and access key that are present in the summary page. Once you verify your username and access code, go back to your dashboard. You can go through this documentation. They have given some proper documentation step-by-step -step how to integrate your scripts with uh, Selenium. And the other thing that you have to notice is this is your home page or dashboard. Uh, now you are only seeing your uh, getting started page, but eventually once you run your scripts here, you will be seeing your test results as well. Till now we didn't run any test cases. That's why we are not seeing anything. But once we run our test case here, you will see our test reports as well. Now let's go back to our steps. Now we have completed the first two steps. Now let's start this step three, create a Selenium script. Now I've already created a basic Selenium script. Now let me walk you through this script line by line. The first line, we are importing the Selenium web driver. In line number three, we are creating a function called uh, run test with camps and we are passing capabilities to this function. Now in line number five, we are creating a builder object and storing it in a variable called build driver. And then using this build driver object, we are calling this method called using server. This is where we pass our create URL that we got at in step number two. So whatever we got in this step, we'll pass that URL there. And 
and line number nine using the build driver object we are calling with capabilities and what we are passing the capabilities that are given to this method we will see how to get these capabilities in a minute in line number 14 we are actually creating our driver object using the build method so on build driver object that we have created in line number five we are calling three methods first one is using server second one is with capabilities and third one is built now using this driver object first in line number 16 i am getting my application under test which is the orange hrm so this is a test application so and then what i am doing is i am clicking on this particular link so i'm inspecting it so it has a unique property as uh, you can see the id is unique which is link add so i'll use this id and then click on this button let's go back to the script let me increase the font size a little i think this should be good first i'm getting that url and then i'm getting the title of the web page and then i'm waiting i'm using explicit wait to wait until this button is visible this button is actually located not visible and i'm giving 50, 50 seconds as a max wait time and once that element is available i'm clicking on that element and once i click on that element right we will navigate to a new page where it will ask us to do a sign up so i'm getting the title again here and then i'm ending my script so this is a sample script that i'm doing and this is how i'm connecting to process tag now this is step number three let's go to step number four get capabilities from browser stack documentation and add them to the script now let's go back to browser stack documentation to get the capabilities i'll go to browser stack scroll to bottom in this page now so if you look at step two set up your first build now you'll find something called parallel thread one so which has an drop down now if you click on it it will allow you to select an operating system followed by what browser and also its version now if you select one of the browser version let's say 102 now in parallel thread one we are selecting windows 10 chrome 102 so the capabilities of this particular browser and operating system will be updated in capabilities one here now copy this and then let's paste it in our code so i've created a capabilities object already and then pasted this code here so here in this case we are using browser chrome and its version is 102 and the operating system we are using is window and os version is 10. now this is step number four now step number five is execute the script now let's run this file using command node and path to this js file click on enter so it is not showing us any logs here but it didn't open any browser to in my machine now i'm seeing the orange hrm portals title home page title and sign up page title but if you now observe carefully there is no browser open in my machine but still the script is ran and i got titles of both these pages now let's go back to our steps and in the, the final step is 
verify execution report in browser stack where can we verify this execution report we can verify this execution report in dashboard page so this is the dashboard page so we have already discussed it so initially we will see some documentation here and then once you scroll to the bottom so you will see the build details where i have ran two builds till now this is the latest build which is run a few seconds ago and this is where we get all the test results of this particular run so you'll see all the details like what browser this test case is executed what os what is the duration what is the status for now it is unmarked but we'll see how to mark this test as passed in our upcoming tutorials and few other options as well who is the user session id and other stuff and also you will have a video recording on what exactly happened during the execution if you click on this play button it will play the video if you look at this uh, a browser is open it open the application under test and clicked on this button and that is the end of our test case now if you look at the test logs so all the actions that we have performed are logged here so we are starting a browser we have opened this url we got this page title find multiple elements we are actually waiting for an element right so it logged like that if you click on this it will show you the screenshot of what is happening on the browser while performing this action so you can uh, see that too. if you remember we didn't add any a uh, particular statement for the screenshots but browser browser stack has actually captured the screenshot too. It, it has created an video for what happened during our execution and also uh, you know if we click on the exact time frame right we can see the screenshot of what is happening in the browser when this particular action is happening now even we didn't uh, log anything like uh, we are starting a browser and all all these things are logged by browser stack itself now once the element is found we performed click on that element and then we got the page title again and that's the end of our script so the session is stopped and here you can see other capabilities as well browser capabilities that we passed browser version os version and all and this is an overview on how reporting happens in browser stack this is how we integrate our selenium webdriver js script with browser stack now this is the code and these are the step these are the steps that we need to follow that's it for this video hope you liked it in the next video we will see how to integrate mocha framework with browser stack Thanks for watching.